To protect their messages, Germany had developed the Enigma machine. Pressing a key would illuminate a different letter that could be sent securely to someone with a matching machine which would then decipher the letters. The machine was prepared using a selection of internal rotors which could be set to any letter of the alphabet. Then, with the unit closed, the operator could twist those rotors to a starting point of their choice. Finally, an electronic pegboard on the front allowed keys to be remapped. There were 159 million 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 combinations. To make matters even harder, the settings were changed every night, and so code breakers had only hours to break the cipher before having to start again the next day. The Germans believed the system was unbreakable. In 1938, with war looking inevitable, a group of 70 people moved to a mansion outside London. They were said to be Captain Ridley's shooting party, there to enjoy pheasant season. In reality, they were about to establish the world's most sophisticated code breaking unit, and by the end of the war, there would be around 9,000 people working at the site. Across Britain's territories, German messages were being intercepted at Y stations. The messages were sent via Morse code. These were noted at the Y stations and sent to Bletchley, where some of the greatest minds in the country set about looking for patterns in the coded letters that might provide a clue to the settings being used. Once that had been found, it could be used to program a prototype computer created by pioneering mathematical genius Alan Turing. The bomb, as it was known, was arranged with 36 groups of three rotors and could cycle through all possible combinations of their settings at a rate of around 20 per second. It would then eliminate impossible combinations and when it identified a possible match, the code breakers could test this on a message to see if it made sense. If so, then every message that day could be read. What would have taken people weeks could be done by the bomb in minutes. Bletchley Park decrypted almost 14,000 messages a week, giving the the Allies the upper hand, and it is said to have brought victory at least two years closer.